Um, okay. So uh, a couple of things. Number one, um, is anybody going to be attending the 2 p.m. workout today with me? You're telling me not a soul from this class is coming? It'll be 20 minutes. If you're an athlete, show up. Trust me, it'll be good for you. Okay? So, um, what you just got here? Show up at two. You won't be disappointed. I've already got four or five kids coming, so it's going to be a nice grouping. So if you show up, that would make me super happy. Um, the other thing is, is that as we move forward, um, I'm going to change where you're submitting your handwritten work. Like, I think I'm going to have you post it up on um, Canvas so it's easier for me to grade because there's a way that I could speed grade and go all through all of yours at the same time. So instead of putting um, your written work in the shared folder, in the Google folder, I'm going to have assignment places for you guys to put it up on. Um, the videos will still stay in the shared folder, though. I will still go look for them in there. But, um, you know, starting uh, next week, I'm going to say, okay, everything is going to be submitted onto Canvas. Um, so that way it's easier for me to grade because I'm out of my mind with grading. Going in and out of folders and, you know, in and out of folders and out of folders. So I'm going in and out of my mind. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. So did you guys, did anybody have an opportunity to take a look at the, um, the sheet that I sent out, the, uh, the thing, the follow along? Did you all, did anybody manage to get a handle on it or anything like that to have it in front of you? And if you don't, it's okay, because I'm still going to put it on here. Is it the one for this class today? What, hun? It's the one for this class today. If you speak up, I can actually hear you. Is it the link for this the class like today or past? Yeah, for today's class. Yeah, it was the one um, it says on there. Well, actually, I can go right to it because I have it on my workspace. Um, I have to share with you guys. So hold on. So I got to go to share. Okay, so share screen. This is the screen I want to share. Okay. This one where it's the follow along. Did everybody see it? I want to do the follow along thing here. Yeah. Okay. So do you guys have your calculators handy to be ready to go? Yep. yep. And your notebooks and all that stuff. So we're going to be talking about, um, we've talked about compound interest, have we not? Have we discussed what compound interest is back when we did exponential growth and decay? I think we mentioned it. Maybe. I don't know. Like when we talked about like salaries. Yeah, we did about how like it's the compound is better to start off low because it's, it's visually lower, but then it gets higher compared right. to like the other one. Right. So if we go to, um, let me just see if this is connected. It is. Okay. So if we had something like where we're using, you know, Y equals a B to the X power. And like, if we were to do a salary, remember we did a salary, like your starting salary is like 60,000, right? 60,000. And your, um, your boss wants to give you a 4% raise per year. Yes. Yep. Right. If we were doing, we would go ahead. I want everybody, not just Billy. I don't want this to be the Billy and Schwa. I love that Billy. Billy, thank you for being so participatory. You know, I love that. I want other people to be involved in here. What would this equation look like? It would be 60,000 times. 1.04. 4 to the X power, right? And the thing is, is that when we would do it, if I said to you, what are you making after your first year? What are you making after your first year? 60,000. What are you making after your first year? Uh, 62,400. Good. So you're making 62,400 because you did 60,000 times 1.04 to the first power. Mm -hmm. Right? That's 60. So that's your after year one. So uh, 62,400. So then typically, if you want to find out what the salary is going to be after that, right, you're making, I want to go back to, if you remember, you're making 4% off of what you would make now it's not like you're going back to the original sixty thousand dollars you go you know what i mean so that's why it's called compound interest because you're making money on your money that's what compound interest means what's the other type of interest called what did you say what's the other type of interest called i don't know what do you mean like if it's not compound what's the other types uh simple interest okay there's something called simple interest and simple interest means you don't get to make money on your money, but compound interest means you get to make money on your money. So you make money on your money. Right. And so when we're doing this, so what this is basically saying is if you remember, we did 60,000 times 1.04 to 
times, you know, uh, if I wanted to see what you were making, you know, in year two, you would be doing that, right? So, which is the same thing as 62,400 times 1.0. Does this look familiar to all of you? Yeah. I need a yes, I can't hear it. I, yes. I, yes. yes. I yes. Yeah. So that's what I'm trying to say. So compound interest on your money. Like that's how we want exponential growth. It doesn't feel, when you talk about exponential growth, it doesn't look like it's um, initially going fast. Um, um, it's, uh, you, you're starting off slow, but then it starts to take off because of all the compounding that's taking place. So you're doing a slow growth over time. So again, when you go back to this problem, you're doing, you know, 62,400 times 1.04 gives you what? What's 62,000 times 1.04, somebody? 64,896. So 64,000, what is it, hun? Eight, 896. 896. So that would be your new salary after the following year, which you're now going to multiply by 1.04% because, again, you're making 4% on this new salary. That's what we mean by compounding interest, that you're making, you're making interest, you're making money off the interest, so that's why you're compounding it, okay? Does that make sense to everybody? That's, yeah. Why, yeah. that's why exponential growth is better than? Linear. Linear. Yes, Linear growth. exponential growth is so much better, right? Exponential growth on the long term beats out linear because linear is just this cute little line that's just kind of lollygagging where you're adding the same amount of money all the time Whereas this is you're doing the adding the same percentage and as your percentage, as your value, as your initial, uh, as this value increases, right? That 4% is going to get bigger and bigger. Does that make sense to my boobalist? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Well, let's go back. Let's have a little bit of fun. This is the fun. All right. So, somebody put the back log on that thing. Some of you have that. Anyhow. Okay. So I don't know how you did it, but let's say, for example, your birthday came and somehow people were willing to give you money so much so that you raked in a thousand dollars. You got a thousand dollars for your, um, for your birthday. Okay. So now you find out that there's some bank called La La Land. The La La Land bank is saying, you know what, we're going to give you an interest rate of a hundred percent per year. Okay. That's what annual means. Every year we're going to give you a um, hundred percent interest rate. How much are you going to have after a year? 1,000. 2,000. You got 2,000, right? Because if you think about it, because if we do our Y is equal to AB to the X power, right? Who's A in this case over here? Who's A in this case, friend? 1,000. 1,000, right? So it's equal to 1,000, right? And then B, it's going to be 1 plus whatever that percentage is, right? It's always based on your 100% plus your other. It's another 100%, is it not? Hello? Yeah. 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 So that's why it's going to be $2,000. Wow. So you doubled your money in a year, right? You literally doubled your money in a year if they say, here's your annual interest rate. Does that make sense to all of you? If it doesn't, please make me go back. No um, one's a sucker when you see one. So in other words, by the way, that is called La La Land because no one's ever going to give you 100% interest. It just doesn't work that way. You know what banks actually give you now for your interest? Like two percent. Like three percent. <laughs> no, Billy, that's high. Not even like four one. You know what the percentage that they actually give you that banks will give you? Point seven five or something. It's less than that, Darcy. Point three five. Point five. Point two five. It's less than that, Eli and Aaron. Point one. Point one percent. Point one percent. Point one percent. So you're gonna if you get a penny in a year, you're lucky. Okay. So if you were to like, so let's say it was point one five percent, right? How much would you have in the bank after that? Just a quick aside before we jump back into this. Let's say it was, um, you know, it was one tenth of a percent per year. How much money would you have in the bank? One dollar and well, one thousand one dollar and five cents. You made a dollar five in interest. A dollar five. You can't get a cup of coffee with a dollar five. Hi, Jeff. Thanks for showing up. Um, you can't get a cup of coffee for a dollar five. Do you know what I'm saying? Okay. So, with that said, that's why we have to talk about money later on as we continue this conversation because we want to find places where we can actually make some cash. All right. So, do you see why I'm calling this bank La La Land? 
Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. You'll chuckle and say, okay. So knowing a sucker when you see one, you go back to La La Land and you're like, you know what? Why don't we compound the interest twice a year, i.e. semi-annually, where we do 50% interest for the first six months and then 50% for the second six months. Is that gonna be a better deal? Yes. yes. Why? How yes. is that gonna wind up being a better deal? Because you are, you're gonna be making the money, more money based off of the money you already kind of made from the interest. Yes, that's what the compounding means, right? So in other words, when we're doing something like this, right? We now have, whoops, Y is equal to, we have a thousand, right? And then it's plus, now it's gonna be, you're not getting, you're not getting 100%, but now you're getting how much? 0.5. 5. So I'm just gonna put a half in here, right? And how many times are you doing that? Twice. Twice a year. How much is it? 2,250. Ah, it's 2,250. Now it's two thousand two hundred fifty dollars. So it's already two hundred fifty dollars. But compounding it only once a year. If you compound it twice a year, it's an additional two hundred fifty dollars on top of that other thousand you would have gotten. Okay, you're not satisfied, right? Because as Billy said, wow, it looks like when we compound more, we seem to make more money. Now you convince them to compound the interest every month. Now we do the interest every single month. So. Is that going to be an even better deal? Yes. Yes, because what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead here. And this one, does everybody know what this one represents right here? The 1,000 for our initial. You're 100% like the initial. That's your initial 1,000. Then this number that we're talking about over here is how often we are compounding, right? Yes? Yeah. And this one comes from changing 100% into a decimal, which is just one. So then we're doing one, but how many times are we compounding that interest? 12 times. 12 times. Yes. And how many times a year, how many times this year are we doing it? 12. 12. Right. What's your new value? 2,613. Well, looks like we're getting even better, right? 2,613. Is everybody okay with that? Where do we get the one twelfth from if we're compounding it twelve times a year? This. When we went over here, right? This was when we compounded once a year, right? Right? We're taking the hundred percent mm -hmm. and we're compounding it once a year. Over here, we're taking that hundred percent and we're compounding it twice a year, right? Over here, because we're doing it every single month, we're taking that one hundred percent and we're compounding it twelve times. Oh, okay. So that's what this number comes from, and, I'm, and that's where it's all evolving from, okay? This is how many times a year we compound that interest. So we have to take this annual interest of 100%, and because we're doing it every month, we have to divide it by 12. Yeah. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Let's say you knuckleheads go back to La La Land Bank, and you're like, you know what? Instead of doing it every month, let's do it every day. Hmm. How many days are in a year, folks? 365. 365. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Why don't you guys tell me what that's going to look like when the time comes? And this is only after one year. God bless you. Thank you. So can, Ricky, can you give me the equation for this one? Ricky, can you give me the equation for this one? Ricky, are you here? Ricky's right here. Maybe he doesn't know that he's muted. Ricky, you are muted. Oh, he says his microphone. No, he sent a message in the chat. Yeah. He put his microphone. He's administrator access for some reason. Okay, so Darcy, can you give me the equation, honey? Um, y equals 1,000 
times one plus one over 365. Times, I've raised to what power? Uh, 365. It is, what'd you get? Um, I don't, uh, $2,714, I might, uh, that might be wrong. Cause I think I did the What's order. What's on that? That's right. Yeah. That's right, okay. Uh, and 57 cents. Yeah. And what is it, 57 cents? Yeah. yeah. Good. Do you know, all right, so let's keep going. Let's like, let's be savages, okay? So let's go over here. So let's say you want to do it twice a day. How many times would that be? What if you wanted to do it twice a day? What if you wanted to do it every hour? What if you wanted to do it every minute? So how about this? Hold on. If your last name starts from A through G, I want to know what that looks like if you do it twice a day. If your last name goes from J through M, you guys are going to do every hour. Those of you from um, anybody else on, you're going to do every minute. Okay. Think about that. Huh. And if you're not sure, talk to the people and be like, yo, 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 I think it's going to be this. Okay. So think about that. We compounded every day, right? First of all, we compounded every year. We did twice a year. We did every month. We did every day. I'm asking some of you to do twice a day. Asking you to do some of you to do each hour, and some of them I'm asking you to do every minute. And then whoever wants to be the savage and do every second, that would be awesome. Who wants to take a crack at every second? I'll do it. Okay. I can do it. Good. Whoever said I can do it, I can do it. Good. Do it. Okay, so here we are. And <clears throat> if I were to ask you to tell me, um, whoever did this one here where it's twice a day, um, what did you get for your value? I got 2,716. And what's your cents? You deserve uh, cents? 0.42 four cents. 42 cents, good. Who did every hour? Can somebody roll out from every hour? 2,718 and 13 cents. 13 cents. Can somebody do every minute? Uh, 2,718 and 28 cents. And then who did every second? 2,718 and 28 cents and 24, 24th of another cent. <laughs> okay. What do you notice the more you compound, like the more frequently you compound, what do you notice, gang? It doesn't really change as much. Yeah, it actually starts to approach a number, right? It approaches, it actually starts to approach a limit. Isn't that interesting? So if we were to, so if I were to do every half a second, right? That means I would simply, you know, I would be doubling this number, right? And then you notice as you look at these numbers, you can actually see that those numbers are actually approaching, right? 
what I want everybody to do right now, or the same people, what I want you to do right now is to, sometimes I forget where to write, is what I'm talking about. So right here, what I want you to do is just calculate this right here. Just calculate this right here. Just calculate that guy right there, and then that guy right there. So just do one plus one over 730 to the 730th power. Tell me what you get. Two point seven one six. Two point seven one six four two. Someone over here. This is two point seven one eight one three, right? Because we're moving the decimal over three places, are we not? Yes. Yeah. Right. Two point seven one eight two eight. Two point seven one eight two eight. And if we were to keep going, I think Max had two four or something like that. If we were to keep going. So this number, like in other words, if I, if as I continue to increase the amount of times I'm compounding, and I let's say I do it infinitely many times, it's going to approach a limit. It's going to approach a number, right? Does anybody know who this is? Does anybody know who this beautiful number 2.718 is? Does anybody know who that is? Can I have a drum roll, please? Um, louder. Oh, this deserves a louder applause. Louder, everybody, do it. Take your things off mute and I want an applause. Drum roll. That's what I mean when I say I want a drum roll. Let's go. Hey, I think it mutes it as we do it because it's like it thinks it's background noise. Oh, okay. Yeah. Really? We gotta I gotta talk to Zoom about that because it's sabotaging my moment. Okay. That number, go to your calculator so you all have them in front of you. Hello? Yes, go to your calculator. Go to your division sign. You see that? There's a, a letter E there. Mm -hmm. Hit second and you'll see E pop up. <coughs> what does it give you? 2.718828. That number, right? 2.718281828. So this beautiful number, okay, comes from the fact that we compound things infinitely many times. Because if I, as I increase this value right here, right? As I increase this value, this value is legitimately going to be approach. So if I have, if I call this one, why isn't this writing? Okay, so if I have one plus one over N, right? The nth power and N is going to infinity. This number we all noticed is approaching this 2.71828 blah, 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 blah which is the number E. This is one of my favorite numbers on the planet other than zero. Everybody wave to E, be like, hey, yo, E, what is up? And this represents continuous compound interest. Come on, my little D there. This beautiful number, oh my God, everybody say hi to E. Oh my God, I love you, I love you. Look at that beauty right there, <clears throat> okay? E and zero are Mama Schwa's favorite numbers. So E and zero. Those are the two most glorious things ever. And as you continue to embark on your mathematical careers, you're going to find out why I love these two so much. So they're beautiful. But isn't that spectacular? And do you know what E stands for? You know who gets uh, credit for finding this out? Who? Yes. Einstein? No. Euler. Thank you. Euler. So again, here this guy goes, right? He gets credit for all kinds of stuff because Euler was the one who discovered <clears throat> that this when this number, when you do one over one plus N and you do N, N infinitely many times, it approaches this beautiful number that he said, I'm gonna call E because I discovered because my last name is Euler. Isn't that awesome? Okay, all right. <clears throat> so now when we get to this, I wanna talk about um, compound interest on you know a nice cute level i just thought it was super important to show you where e came from because again it's my favorite number on the planet but um sishwa yeah. is e like an asymptote yes yes it is because what you could do is if you were to graph if you were to look at this function and i think i might want you guys to do that we'll do this as a team when we meet up again 
But if you were to graph the function 1 over 1 over n to the n uh, x, make this an x instead of an n, if you were to the x power, if you graph this function, you will actually see that it's going to do something like this. And this line right here, guess who this line is, Darcy? Oh, E. That's E. That's the line y equals E. So, yes, it is asymptotic. That is a delicious question. Rob O. Sisters. That is amazing. Yes. And, oh, my God. When we find out all the awesome, cool properties that this thing brings, you're going to be like, oh, my God, that's amazing. And we're going to be spending a lot of time with these because I love it. Okay? So, this should look familiar because we did it with those previous problems about La La Land Bank. Okay? But I want to do a quick one with you, like, um, where when we take a look at this, <clears throat> I want to point out that A is your initial amount, right? That's the initial. We know that R is your annual, that's supposed to say annual interest rate. Rate. What do you think N represents? What does N represent? You've done the problems. We did the problems before. What does N represent? Number of times compounded. Number of times compounded per year. Very good. And T, what do you think T would represent? Time, number of years. Number of years, good. All right, let's do a quick problem <clears throat> and then we'll call it a day because um, we have a good four minutes left. Give me a number. Seven. Higher. 13. Okay, so you're putting $713. You like that, Billy? And let's yeah. say that your uh, annual interest, annual rate, is, let's say that you do find a bank that says, I'm going to give it to you for 2.13%. Okay. And let's say that it compounds. Let's say that it compounds daily. Okay. How much will you have in five years? Okay. We want to find out how much are you going to have in that account in five years? <clears throat> so if we use this, this pretty little formula over here, we have 713 and then we have one plus, what's going to be over here for R? What am I going to do with R? 0 0.0213. 0 0.0213. Divided by? 365. 365. Good. And then it's going to be times 365 times how many years? Five. Five years. Okay. Everybody see that? So I just want to know what is the amount, how much money will you have in the bank after five years if you don't put any other money in there? So, so Billy, you dump $713 in there. You forgot about it. Then you go back and look. How much is in there in five years? $793.12. $793.12. That is not terrible. That is not terrible considering you only put $713 in there and then you stopped at that. Okay. Now, what if we want to find out, um, based on that, like, because uh, I think we have two more minutes, we do. What if we want to see how much or how long it's going to take Billy to get his money up to, say, double? Let's say Billy wants to double his money, right, just by leaving his money in there. How long is it going to take his money to double? Does everybody have it written down so I can really stop? You guys have this written down so I can go to a new spot. Yeah. Okay. So Billy wants to double his money. So now we want to double this, right? All right. So we want to have it. So we have our, you know, P, uh, da, 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 A, yada, yada, one plus R over N to the NT power. So Billy has $713. The interest rate is 2.1.3%. It's compounded uh, 365 days, right? It's 365 times. Is everybody with me on that? Okay, I'm going to talk to myself because none of you are talking to me. So if you want to double, right, if you want to double, you get 1426 equals 713, and then 1 plus the 0 0.0213 over 365, right? And that's raised to the 365t power because right now we're trying to find out how long it's going to take him to double his money. Is everybody okay with that? Okay. Yeah. Well, by the way, so if I divide both sides by 713, I should have two, right? So 
Hello? Yeah. Yeah. And I have 1 plus 0 0.201 divided by 365, and that's raised to the 365t power. Okay. So here we are, that if you were to do 1 plus 0 0.0213 divided by 365, you get 2 is equal to 1. You use every single one of those decimals. Okay. So it's 0, 0, 0. There's four zeros there. Five, eight, three, five, six, and that's being raised to the 365t power. Yeah. Yeah. Now my yeah. question is: is this is an exponential equation? How do we solve exponential equations, everybody? Logarithm. Log logarithm. Log so can somebody convert this into a logarithm for me? Um. Log of 1.0005835366. Oh, 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 uh huh. Of two, uh, of two equals 365t. Good. Is equal to 365t. So now we got to all go find this on our calculators, right? Log base of blah, 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 which I'm going to do too. And to save myself time, I'm going to do Eli, I'm going to do what you're going to do. It feels a little faster. Okay, I get, for that log, I get 11,841 and 73 cents is equal to 365T. Does everybody have the same number I have? Yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah. and then we'll just divide everybody by 365. How long is it gonna take Billy to double his money? From 33 years. Yeah, because it's 32.44, which we have to round up to 33 years. Okay. Woo -hoo -hoo! That was a lot, and that was pretty hardy. So one of the things that I want you guys to do is you are going to um, you are going to uh, <clears throat> take a look at all of this exciting stuff. If you want to go back and rewatch this video once I do post it. Um, to rethink about what everything that we did, but you are going to reflect on it. I have everything posted up on Canvas, and I'm going to stop here, uh, recording as we speak. Bye.